Amazon just launches their EC2 Mac instances. It's pretty interesting. If you've been using Amazon for a long time, you probably use Linux servers or Windows servers for most of the time. There's no really the, the Mac OS systems for you to use. In fact, most of the cloud services, they don't provide Mac systems. But just today, Amazon launches Mac EC2 instances. That's super interesting. Uh, it's interesting because Mac, it's usually just a consumer product. It's very weird to see if people want to build a iMovies or some iTunes as a service on the servers. So that's actually not a main use case for not a main use case for, for, for Amazon, uh, for people, for, for most users. Uh, Amazon, says they, they build that is probably for you to test because previously, if you want to uh, test uh, your Mac OS apps, either iOS app, iPad apps, you need to really physically only iPad. And it's harder to do the like scale test. Maybe you want to launch 10,000 machines, 10,000 MacBooks to test that. You can do that with Amazon easy to make services, uh, which they you can instant instantly launch so many 10,000 instances, inst 10,000 machines, virtual machines, then test your product, concurrencies, stuff like that. So this Mac services, Mac Mac EC2 Mac instances is powered by uh, Mac Mini. They basically uh, bought a lot of uh, Mac Minis and build that as a uh, Amazon Web Service. And you can run a lot of things, include, including Mac OS, iOS, uh, iPad OS, TV OS, Watch OS, and the Safari. So there's a lot of things that you can do with that. At least they unlock the so many potential probability possibilities that that you can do on Amazon Web Services now, and uh, it's powered by eighth gen generation Intel i seven uh, seven so it's six core uh, Intel i seven with a Coffee Lake inf architecture, and you may wonder in that. You may be wondering that uh, the Apple M1 chip, is the M1 chip available there? Uh, not yet. Uh, you will, it's actually, they are planning for that, and they're aiming for uh, 2021 to launch Apple M1 chip. And I think this launch is significant because it means Apple's already become a very, very significant for force in the cloud computing, even the company like Amazon, they chose to provide Apple Mac OS services. That's super interesting. That's super interesting. Okay, so probably you you you, you maybe want to play with that and can test you if you are uh, app developers, you may find it interesting that you can test your iOS app on Amazon. That's super handy. I think there's a lot of potential that we, we, we can think of. Maybe write a lot of like tests. Maybe some people will build iOS test framework, iOS test as service on Amazon so that you can test easily so many different uh, phones, concurrencies on Amazon. I'm not really sure that's the use case. But anyways, let me know you, what, what you think about it. I just think that's pretty interesting. Even I probably won't really use that because I'm, I don't have that kind of use case, but I believe many people have that. Uh, anyway, that's all for today. If you would like to receive more technology news analysis like this, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, other than that, take care. I will see you next time.